Inflation and fewer students are real problems facing school districts across the nation and right here at home. I'm NBC 26 Today's McLeod Hageman here in Green Bay, explaining where your tax dollars are going after the board votes on tonight's budget. No, I, I don't anticipate any concerns from the public. Green Bay Public Schools Chief Financial Officer Angela Robley says the board is set to vote on this year's nearly $336 million budget following a public hearing Monday night, raising the mill rate a few cents and property taxes a few dollars. $8 was our historical low for Green Bay for as long as we could find records for. So an increase to $8.26 really means if everything stays the same, it's $26 in additional taxes on a $100,000 home. But as property values increase across the nation and nearly 9% on average across the district this past year, well, taxpayers have to pay even more. Robley says not necessarily since the state is offering some tax relief for property owners, setting aside more money into that school levy tax credit pool. As a taxpayer, you'll see that reduction on your taxes, but that's not part. I mean, it will directly offset how much you're paying in school district taxes. Essentially, we should see an increase in that or you should see an increase in that because the state did put so much more money into that pot of money for that school levy tax credit. After no major setbacks to this year's budgets, the district is already planning for the future as it deals with declining enrollments, inflation, and a lack of American Rescue Plan money that runs out after next fall. We have really been working on and, and reducing that deficit that we had been projecting for the last couple of years. So we continue to align our staffing with our declining enrollment. So through attrition, we are reducing our full-time equivalent or our staffing position. So we're not backfilling. That includes possibly closing schools in the district. School and community leaders will and have been discussing. We are continually trying as a district strategically to figure out those places where we can produce and, um, I guess, create efficiencies and, and reduce costs. So when we get into 24-25, we are a balanced budget. A public hearing will be held tonight after 5.30, and then the board will vote directly after. To learn more about the budget and how it's affecting you, you can check out our websites at NBC26.com. And following the public hearing, the Green Bay School Board is expected to discuss several possible school closures. The board will talk about consolidating Tank Elementary School students into Lincoln Elementary and then merging Keller Elementary School with Kennedy Elementary School. In June, the board postponed the idea of shifting Tank students to nearby Fort Howard because district officials said Tank's entire student population would not fit into Fort Howard. Now, the school board has already passed a resolution to close Weequiock Elementary in the town of Scott and move their students to Red Smith School in Green Bay.